Hi. Uh, today's case illustrates a common pitfall of abdominal CT imaging. Here's an elderly patient presenting with abdominal pain. We can see uh, the patient is uh, advanced in years from the degenerative changes in the lumbosacral spine and the extensive calcification in the wall of the abdominal aorta. There are some incidental findings in the form of gallstones and renal cysts. But the primary finding is down in the pelvis. We just went by it. And it is this structure right here in the left lower quadrant. Now as we go up, we see a collection of air which doesn't look quite normal. It's actually intramural and extraluminal. And we see that that same air collection continues into this larger collection which contains fecal-like material, which at first glance could be mistaken for a loop of colon which highlights the importance of tracking the course of the colon. So if we do that, we see that the sigmoid actually goes right by it. And that this is an extraluminal collection that is eccentric to the colon. This is the descending colon, which looks abnormally thickened as an enhancing wall and stranding around it. So there is uh, significant colonic inflammation, and this is an extraluminal collection of stool which has formed as a result of perforation of the inflamed colon. And this air which is tracking up along the wall of the colon is related intramural air. So always remember when there is a structure which looks like it could be a loop of colon, make sure to trace the entire colon to confirm whether it is in fact intraluminal or extraluminal. Particularly when it looks a little bit unusual in the, in the sense that it's of a different caliber than the rest of the colon, which this collection clearly is, and when it doesn't have a well-defined wall uh, as the rest of the colon should. You can see this collection doesn't really have a wall, it's just sitting there in the peritoneal cavity. So uh, here's a, an example of extraluminal fecal collection as a result of colonic perforation. Thank you.